I want it to be very minimal, which it's currently not. another vlog. The theme of this vlog, which is going to be over the next couple of days, is refreshing my life. I feel like I'm always resetting, refreshing, but honestly, I can't get enough. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> I'm addicted to resetting, okay? This is going to be kind of a moving vlog, days in the life, but really just focused on making some changes, decluttering, the start of like spring cleaning, bringing in new decor, and to start, we are going to be refreshing this office. So I moved into this office at the beginning of March, which was about three weeks ago as I'm standing here right now. And I love this space. I love it so much, but it is really, really not optimally set up. We basically just moved everything in. It pretty much looks like my old apartment threw up in here and it's not, it's not how I want things to look. So today's Saturday my boyfriend's actually on his way over. We were both just getting some work done and now he's coming over and we're going to play around with some different layouts. I'm going to look at what are some stuff that I want to keep, what are some stuff that I brought over and need to be decluttering. I think decluttering is going to be a big theme in this video, but my vision for this office is to have you're not actually going to believe this, okay? Because especially when you look around it right now, it feels silly saying this. But my vision is to have a like calm, serene place where it's like feels really nice to just come and work, feels very calming, doesn't feel cluttered. I don't want there to be things everywhere that are just collecting dust. I want it to be very minimal, which it's currently not. So I'm up for the challenge. Let me start by just showing you a little bit around the office right now. And then when JS gets here, we'll get to the moving of the furniture. So you might've already seen the empty apartment, empty apartment, empty office tour. Um, and you might've actually seen my apartment tour and you're gonna see so many similarities. Okay, so this is how it currently looks right now. Basically the office is just one rectangle. The door is behind me here. So I originally put the couch here, the coffee table, and then my desk in the corner. Now, if I wasn't filming videos and let's say the couch wasn't here, I would actually really like the desk like this because I like how the desk is in the middle. If I wanted to have a friend over to come work with me, like we could sit kind of opposite each other. But just for how much room there is in this office, this is really, really not practical. And there's just clutter everywhere, you guys. I really need to work on fixing it up. We have the mirror, the clothing rack, and this plant. These are all gonna stay. I brought my yoga stuff, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing yoga in here. This needs to go into storage because it's not really the season for it anymore. These boxes need to be all sorted out. Oh, hello. Even these plants, I'm sad to say, I need to make a decision whether they are staying or going. Something I really wanna focus on today are these two tables because they really can't both stay. And I actually think neither of them are going to stay. We'll talk about that in a second. And then I have a box of clutter here that needs to be sorted out. Now, in terms of layout, I drew a couple of like possibilities. This is my, this is my interior design skills right here, you guys. So this is the door and then I was thinking the desk could go here. The couch could go with its back to the window actually. And then maybe like a plant in the corner and the coffee table here. And then I'd like to have like a mirror. And then the credenza, we'll talk about that. But that would basically replace that bar cart and that table. So that was one option. I had started doing another option where the desk went by the window, but I really don't think that's gonna be optimal. Another option here, again, the desk at the front there and the couch kind of on this side. So not with its back more covering the window, but really off to the corner here, which makes for a cool background, but I don't know how much space is gonna be left on the other side. I, I didn't do measurements when I did these drawings. And then the other one, another option was having the sofa actually facing the window so that when I'm sitting on the couch, I can look outside, but it means that the background of my videos would be like, this kind of open space and I don't know if that would actually look good, but I'm pretty certain that the desk, the best spot for it is there. So we're gonna play around with that. I also, we went to Ikea yesterday. Oh my God. No, you're right, you're right. Okay, you tell. We're having dinner at Ikea on a Friday. 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 Yeah. And it's fantastic. It's fantastic. We're bucks. We 
went to ikea and it was actually one of those experiences where you want to break up with the person that you're with because i feel like going to ikea it's either like we're in love we love this like 500 days of summer vibes or you want to get a divorce because <laughs> Oh my God, it can be so frustrating. Basically, I wanted to replace this mirror with that classic Ikea mirror, you know, the really big one with like the silver frame. And we bought it, I bought it. We go to put it in the car, car won't shut. The mirror is too big for the car and it was pouring rain. I was so frustrated. We had to get back because my stepmom was looking after Maggie and the mirror doesn't fit. So we have to go. We waited like 20 minutes to return the mirror that I had just bought. It was so frustrating. And I was also looking for curtains because I do want to get some curtains to cover that window because when I film like clothing videos and stuff, like I'm going to be changing in here. I don't need people to see that. And just for a little bit of privacy. So they were like all sold out of curtain rods, but I was able to buy the curtains. So I'm going to order a curtain rod. And actually, while I have you guys, let me show you my kind of vision. So I really like that bar cart. I think it looks cute. However, having everything out in the open, like I would use the bottom for like some storage of maybe books, teas, like coffee, whatever. And having all of that out in the open can be a little bit cluttered. So I was thinking of getting a credenza which is something like this, like a lower cabinet that shuts. I could have some stuff on top and then close everything else inside. Like, look how good that looks. I don't know, I just, I think it's really nice. I think it would help me achieve my goal of being like more minimal and it would allow me to like stick, you know, all of those like kind of unsightly office things inside the credenza. The pro is that it's minimal, it's cute. I think it would just, it would take a lot of that eye clutter out of the room. The cons are that furniture is expensive and I already have something nice. But then on the flip side, the pro is that I can sell what I already have. I can sell that bar cart and I can sell that table and that should cover at least part of the credenza. So I was looking at this one from Buclair. It's $500. I think it's really, really cute and aesthetic. And I was looking at this one from Simon's, which is $330. I also think it's really cute and aesthetic. However, I think I prefer, that's the thing, I prefer the other one in terms of like looking at it, but I think this one would match better in here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Which one would you guys choose? And that text is because JS is here. So I'm gonna start tidying up. I mean, there's like tripods everywhere. Cause I guess we gotta make some room if we're gonna move furniture all around. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am going? Oh, it's a video. I don't know why I'm still talking. That's your thing. When do I ever take photos? Yeah. So, like, you know, like, this is how you have it. So, it creates, like, your chair goes here. So, it creates kind of a space. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think right here is the best. Because it's also, there's the plug. So, there's not going to be any wires coming, like. But the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone Okay, it's like 4.30, what time is it? 
5.45? No. It's 5.45. 5.45. Wow. It's 5.45. And I'm gonna show you the kind of final steps. It's nowhere near as progressed as I would have liked. And I'm starting to feel a bit frustrated. I always get this way when like moving stuff or doing decor or whatever, cause I just, I'm impatient. And I want everything to be fast, but I think it's a lot better. Let me know what you think. Desk is here. This needs to go. All of this needs to get organized and sorted. This needs to get sorted. I think a gallery wall could be nice, um, but there's the desk cluttered and cluttered. This is kind of like the room divider and then the bar cart, which will get sold and I will buy one of those credenzas. The couch here, that heater is coming out and then this I'm gonna try and sell as well. And then the mirror probably will get changed, but have to figure it out. I think it's much better, but it's still far from perfect. So we'll keep working on it. I think on Monday, I'm gonna set aside some time to like really declutter and everything like that. But the next step of this refreshing my life is going to happen at home, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Gene says probably not tonight. He's probably I right. Didn't just say tonight, so okay, see you guys tomorrow. We just got home from skiing and we have so much food. I'm so excited. We ordered from Shushu Thai. Pardon? Yeah. <laughs> what? We got some gyoza. This is for my soup. I got like a cocoa tom yum. That's the broth in there. That's for me. And Jean got a chicken pad thai. It all looks so good. This is our second time ordering from them. And it was really, really good last time. And the first episode is out of the new Ted Lasso. So we're gonna watch that. Then we're gonna start the whole like reset stuff. Happy Sunday. We are home and it's currently 8 p.m. Honestly, we had such a perfect Sunday. We went to a bar class in the morning, went out for brunch after, spent the day skiing. And now I'm exhausted, but it is time. And we've kind of already started doing our new Sunday reset routine. I heard about this on a podcast, like this specific routine. Why can't I have peace for just one minute? It's like absolute chaos in here. I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. We're, we're cat sitting. The cat is going crazy, which is making the dog go crazy. There's a laundry machine going in the background. Anyways, shout out to the Morning Ray podcast who gave me this idea. I'm not gonna go into the details of it because we're kind of just trying it out. Plus we're doing it all backwards today. But if this works out, if we stick to it for a couple of weeks, I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this Sunday reset. But even though it's not perfect, even though we're not getting it like exactly down in the order that I would like, it's still important just to start. And I just wanna start having these kind of good habits. So on the way back from skiing, we went and got groceries. So we're kind of stocked up for the week. I have HelloFresh coming in on Thursday. So that's gonna be good as well. And we got takeout. So takeout is kind of going to be the reward for doing all of the Sunday reset work. And that's why it's inverted because we had the takeout first. So my belly is full, which is also contributing to why I'm tired, but I stood up, we're gonna film this and yeah, let's kind of get into this reset. On top of getting the place tidy, there are two things I wanna work on. Actually one of them, I'm looking at it and it's not good. It's not gonna get done tonight. But the second thing we can do right now. This bowl has become mine and I've been putting some stuff on here as well, which is just like, it's not really nice. Like all of this should kind of be out of sight. So we got this box from Ikea and we're gonna take some of Gene's stuff that's under the TV because he doesn't need like easy access to it and put that in here. And then my gold bowl, which I do need easier access to, the contents will go under the TV. Do you wanna help me with this? Mm -hmm. Good, but most importantly, good for her. Who's Eugene Levi? Oh yeah, Eugene Levi, I remember him. MATLAB? What are these? They're cards, they're playing cards. Why do you have a bajillion pens? Oh no! You need to keep all of these? Okay, don't, don't put weight on this, first of all. And second okay, well then all, get up and help me. This isn't the moment of judgment, okay? I don't even know why you're doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this either. Well, I, I, 
because you want to film it. I don't know. Okay, then you do it. Okay. Can your bathing suit go in the dryer? Sure. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you Okay, so we're all done. Finally time to relax. It's about 9.30, which means it's time to get ready for bed because I wanna wake up early tomorrow. I'm gonna put this hair oil in my hair and then take the shower. You know the one? You know the one. And then just jump into bed. We cleaned the sheets yesterday, so it's perfect. The apartment feels so much more clean, which is amazing. So it's gonna be so nice to just wake up early tomorrow and have a good little fresh start to the week. So that's that. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Happy Monday. I am so happy today, feeling so excited and refreshed and just ready for the week. Going to bed last night in a clean house and then waking up super early to the clean house was the best feeling ever. I feel like it's going to become addicting and I'm just so happy that we're implementing that new routine. I'm talking kind of quiet because I'm at the office and I can hear somebody else on the phone so I don't want to be like blabbing super loud. But I think waking up at five and like going straight to work out is gonna be my new jam. So luckily I have you guys to hold me accountable. And now I'm at the office and it's 9 a.m. So I'm ready to get this work day started. I have so much on my plate today. So we're gonna save the kind of office decluttering for later on. I'm gonna take out my laptop and get to work. Oh yeah, and I made muffins this morning. I made these protein muffins. So we're just having a great day. Do you want to say good morning and happy Monday? Good morning, happy Monday. Do you love the office? Is it so much better now that we redecorated a little bit? I think so. Good job. Give me five. Good job. Go in your bed, baby. No, you don't want to? Okay.
Okay, you guys, I've been talking um, quite a bit in some of my videos on how I'm working on like changing my mindset around money and changing to from like a lack mentality and like scarcity to an abundant and like manifesting money mentality. And I was thinking about that this morning when I was in the shower, I was thinking like, I was just telling myself some positive affirmations. I was like, money flows to me. I am a money magnet. This is crazy. So I had this envelope on my desk and it was flat so you couldn't see what was inside, okay? And I figured it was empty. Like I could have just taken this and thrown it in the garbage. But I opened it up and I was like, oh, like I'm just editing and I would just grab this envelope and I was like, what's in here? 50 bucks, 50 forgotten dollars. I just found 50 bucks. I am $50 richer. I am a money magnet. Try telling yourself that and you might find money just lying around. How amazing. Okay, I'll go back to work now. I just had to share that. You guys, you're becoming friends. What the heck? You're living in harmony at least. What are you guys doing? Good job. Good job. Can you believe that? They were like arch nemesis 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 is just not long ago and they're quickly becoming best friends it's going to be so hard when sandy has to go to her forever home because maggie if you say maggie where's your friend where's your best friend she goes and finds the cat like it's it's really really cute okay so i was just getting ready um to film this next little part of the video and then took out my camera for that cute moment and let's just chat so here's the thing you guys <laughs> it's friday we last spoke on monday and i was like yeah for sure i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff done on tuesday basically finish cleaning up the office show you guys what i want to declutter here show you guys these new rugs that we got and like We'll wrap up this video. It will have been a couple days in my life. I'm gonna close the door. The life does not always go according to plan. You know, this, this we know. And things just got really, really busy. I just got home this morning from two nights in Ottawa. My mom got out of the hospital, um, which is amazing for anyone who missed it, I guess. My mom fractured her hip and had surgery was in the hospital for I think almost 10 days and she came home on Wednesday. So I went to Ottawa to like help her out, get her settled in at home and all of that. So I got home this morning and I'm really, really happy to be home. And then I kind of feel guilty for being happy to be home because I feel like, you know, I should be staying and helping her out a little bit more, but then at the same time, like life has to go on here and that's, what's really tricky, but she does have people in Ottawa like looking out for her and able to help her out. And we're gonna talk on the phone all the time and stuff. So yeah, but I had a big like anxiety pit in my stomach saying goodbye to her this morning. So we're almost a week out from when we started this vlog, but we're still decluttering and refreshing and resetting. We're still, we're still doing it. Should I do my eyebrows? I kind of don't feel like it. I'll just brush, oh, oh, I'm gonna do them. Every time I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. And then I do it and I'm glad I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys next is so cool and exciting. We got a delivery from Ruggable and this was a gift, which is insane. Ruggable gifted me slash us, me, <laughs> these um, for the new apartment, which was so, so generous. So Ruggable, thank you so much. This is a really beautiful gift and a really, really just so generous. I, I'm so excited. Um, I've never been one to have rugs in my place. I, I feel like I never understood the value of a rug. I used to have this really fluffy carpet that was a hand-me-down from my friend Michaela actually um, at my old apartment. And then I had to get rid of it when Maggie was a couple months old because she kept peeing on it. <laughs> so that was the last time I had a rug. And honestly, when you look at photos and when you go into someone's house who does have a rug, you just feel the difference. Like they really do add so much to a space. So I feel like for the bedroom, it's gonna add so much. That's where we're going next. 
So I feel like it's just gonna be like a little touch of elevation and luxury because rugs feel very luxurious. So let's go. Jean, are you ready? Time to unbox. So we got two rugs from Ruggable. This one is going to go in the bedroom and this we're gonna do in the office probably tomorrow. I'm gonna show that one. So when you see this rug, I feel like it's kind of a love it or hate it design. It's a little bit out there, but surprisingly, when Jean and I were looking on the Ruggable website to choose our rug, we both saw this one and we like immediately both fell in love which I feel like with certain design things is kind of rare because you know everyone has their own individual style and taste. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so exciting. And him and I have very different interior design tastes. He's much more like minimals, kind of zen, and I'm more like eclectic. So that we both agreed on this rug is really crazy. He says he's West Coast Japanese zen. Okay, I'm gonna need your help here. Yeah, Unless we open it on the side. Look, Jean! Okay, here's a, like a sneak peek of the rug. There's like a bird and a palm tree and it's like a beige and gray. Ready? That's so sick. We're already past Roomba underneath the bed. So now we're just gonna mop the floor. To the hallway. Just like fire, no denying. I know you won't be This is part of the Iris Abfell collection. And this is what I mean, it's very eclectic, it's very out there. We've got monkeys, we've got butterflies, pineapples, palm trees, but it's so beautiful. It's honestly like a piece of art and there's kind of something new to look at every time you look at it, which is nice because you'll never get bored. So let's go put it in the bedroom. Okay, so that's how it looks. Look at that, it's so beautiful. The bedroom is gonna change. We're actually getting a new bed. Um, so that's gonna be completely different probably next month, but it's so good. And this rug is gonna look so good with the new bed as well. Maggie loves it. And it just adds such like a cozy vibe to the room and it really creates a divide because we don't have like a proper door, right? Like we just have these sliding doors. So it's really nice. It creates a divide between the two rooms and we got the extra padded base. So it's really nice for walking on. When you wake up, you're greeted by your little monkey friends, your little butterfly, your pineapple. Hi 
everyone, happy Saturday. I've been here at the office for a little bit, cleaning up like you guys saw, finally getting that decluttering done. And I feel so much better. Like I just feel like it's so much more airy in here. So it just feels really, really good and refreshing. Now, the last thing that I need to do for today in terms of getting, you know, reset, refreshed, whatever, is I need to clean the floors of this office. They are disgusting. We've been coming in like with the move and everything, coming in with boots on. So they're just really, really nasty. So I've got my vacuum and my mop and I'm gonna clean the floors. And then we have another rug to put out. So let's start with the vacuum. I'm just afraid that Maggie's gonna go psycho as soon as I start the vacuum. looks oh my gosh oh my gosh okay let's put the, the table back gorgeous okay how good does this look oh my gosh it's honestly so perfect that's a wrap I'm gonna put everything back together and I'll show you guys like a final little walk through all of the hard work okay so it's still not perfect but it's definitely looks like someone actually put some time and thought into here. I think this view that we're looking at right now is like my all time favorite. We've got the bar cart set up. I'm still on the fence about the credenza. I'm gonna like wait and find the perfect one. So this will do for now. Moved the clothes rack here so that it doesn't cut the room in half so much so that we can actually see all of this beautiful stuff right here. Obviously the rug that we just did, coffee table and couch. These are familiar from the old place. We've got the plant in this corner, the mirror. This plant, I think I'm gonna swap. I would like to get a bird of paradise and we'll move some of the plants around. These I'm giving to a friend. That's just, don't look at that. And then the desk still needs a little bit of organizing, but it's so much better. All of the boxes underneath, gone. Huh, all gone. <laughs> she looks like she's smiling. And that's that. <sighs> what a relief, what a relief, I'm so happy. So that's a wrap on this reset and refresh vlog. We did so much, we did so much together. I'm so happy that you hung out with me throughout this whole week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still watching, if you made it to the end, comment a soap emoji. I would, I would love to know who stuck around to the end. Um, and that's that, it's Saturday. I am having a solo night in where I'm gonna watch Sex in the City and do my nails. That's what I'm looking forward to. If you wanna let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to, I'll love to interact with you that way as well. Okay, I'm just being weird because Gene's here and it's like stressing me out filming in front of him. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. I love you, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.